When talking about vasopressors, it is important to know a little bit about the receptors that these medications act on. We are mainly talking about adrenergic receptors and dopamine receptors. Breaking this down further, when thinking about the adrenergic receptors, you should know two main categories, which are the alpha receptors, specifically the alpha-1 receptor, and the beta receptors, specifically beta-1 and beta-2 receptors. What's unique about these receptors is where they are located in your body and how they lead to different physiologic effects. So, looking at this in more detail, the alpha-1 receptors are predominantly found in vascular walls. So when these receptors are stimulated, they cause vasoconstriction and as a result, increase your mean arterial pressures. Beta-1 receptors are predominantly found on the heart and mediate increases in inotropy, or increases in cardiac contractility, and chronotropy, or increases in heart rate. Beta-2 receptors, which are also predominantly found on vascular walls, cause vasodilation when they are stimulated. Now talking about the dopamine receptors. These are mainly found on renal, splanchnic, coronary, and cerebral vascular beds, and stimulation of these receptors causes vasodilation. There are also another subtype of dopamine receptors which will cause vasoconstriction by inducing the release of norepinephrine. So in summary, there are three main classes of vasoactive and inotropic receptors you should be familiar with. The alpha adrenergic receptors found on vascular walls, beta adrenergic receptors found on the heart and also on vascular walls, and the dopamine receptors, which are found on various vascular beds.